This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by CFU, the power of service. The UNI softball team opened this 2013 season against the defending national champions as Alabama came north to open their season at the Unidome Classic. The head coach of the Crimson Tide is a UNI graduate and a Fayette, Iowa native in Pat Murphy. Now Murphy made it a homecoming, not just for him, but for his sophomore from Waterloo, Jaden Spencer. Brad Wells takes a look at Coach Murphy's journey from the UNI campus to a national championship and back. 2012 was a banner year for the UNI softball team, winning the school's first outright MVC regular season title. At the same time, a UNI alum, Pat Murphy, was leading the Alabama Crimson Tide to the SEC Conference's first softball national championship, 13 years after being named head coach at Alabama when it started the softball program in 1999. Well, it was definitely a dream come true for everybody that's been involved with Alabama softball from day one. Uh, we literally started with nothing. We had no players, we had no field, we had no softballs, we had no bats, no uniforms. And to see it grow from the ground up was the most gratifying feeling that you can imagine. And, you know, it was the first time in the SEC as well. Nobody had ever won a national championship in softball. We just had one of those years where everything fell into place. Uh, very resilient team. And even though we were down one game in the championship series to Oklahoma, came back and won the next two. So just an amazing feeling. To be able to watch them go on their run, um, as well as us going on our run last year and, and doing great things, to be able to, to combine those things at the beginning of the next year, I think is, is great. Pat Murphy is a 1988 UNI graduate that majored in history education. He didn't start out pursuing the coaching field, by the end of his UNI education, had taken classes from some of the great coaches in the 80s and worked in the athletics sports information department. Uh, Nancy Justice, who was the sports information director, I worked under her for three years as a, a work study kid. She's the first one that really introduced me to Division I ath athletics. And, uh, you know, I took road trips with the football team with her and we'd sit on the bus and we'd talk about what we were going to do for the rest of our lives. And, um, I mean, all the good coaches, Eldon Miller, uh, Meredith Bakley, uh, Chris Buck Buckman from track that was here. When it came to coaching, Murphy thought he had a future with basketball. Growing up, he looked up to Indiana's Bob Knight and would often spend his weekends glued to the TV. And watched college basketball over and over and over. And um, when I got to UNI, I got to experience all the sports. I was actually a manager under Roger Robbie Fard too uh, for volleyball. And one of the best players on his team at that time was a young lady named Bobby Becker, who's now Bobby Peterson. Um, I tried to block her in practice and it never worked. Pat eventually became a high school baseball coach at Sumner and Independence while working his way into the college softball ranks. His first year at Alabama was his second year as head coach of a softball program, completing a journey that included a number of jobs in both baseball and softball, a similar path that UNI's Ryan Jacobs has taken. I thought he was a really great guy. I looked up to him. And uh, eventually he, got, he found his way to softball, which a lot of guys do that played baseball. When I decided to, to, to venture into the softball world at Cedar Falls High School, Pat Murphy was the first phone call that I made. Just to make sure, hey, I need to know what, I'm gonna, what, I, what I should be doing. And Coach Murphy was able to make a homecoming for himself and two others in the Bama softball program. It's the start of the next chapter for two coaches coming off seasons which they took their program to new heights. But, you know, when you have the dome and it's 72 degrees, you know you're going to play and you know you're going to have great crowds and all the friends and family are here. It's, it's a win-win for everybody. I think emulation is the best sign of respect and, and I have a ton for, for Murph. I'm very proud of him and what he's done at UNI. You know, they won the Missouri Valley last year and he's got it on the right path and I think he's going to do great things. 